Hi, this is Lucy from budgetingandplanning.co.uk and Donna from elevatefs.org and we're talking about all things mortgages. We have a 10 part mini series. This is part seven and it's specifically around the fact that when your circumstances have changed financially and you are not earning as much as you were when you took out your fixed rate mortgage. So this is my situation. Um, I'd gone from working a full time salary to self-employed and I was really, really scared because I thought, well, actually, if my, my income now level is significantly lower than it was. How the hell am I A, going to get remortgaged in the first place? And also, am I going to then have to sell my house? And of course, your mind starts working overtime, doesn't it? Yeah, you start naturally. panicking. Yeah. So tell us what the options are. Um, sure, there's a couple of options. Um, ultimately, I would advise people to, to speak to either a lender or a mortgage advisor. And let us just really look at your circumstances because yeah. it might not be as bad as you think yes. um you know um, and again the flexibility of mortgages if you've changed um job roles in the last few months that's fine we can still use that income yeah. um but so yeah i would always advise people to, to speak to somebody about it and just to get a full picture of your um, circumstances but also speak to your current lender yeah um, because they may just offer you a follow-on rate um and if that is the case then there's no income and affordability check mm. providing you've kept up with your mortgage payments for the last um, you know period of time there's no missed mortgage payments you've demonstrated already that you're able to continue continue right. with the payments so they're not going to question it no essentially not but um it's always good to get some advice just to you know explore your full options because yeah, there may be a cheaper rate or a cheaper option or a better option available yeah. um you know that that is available to you that you weren't aware of yeah no absolutely good point so it's a real relief to know that you can get that follow-up mortgage so my question i suppose is do i pick up the phone and phone my lender or do i get my mortgage advisor to do it for me either or really lucy um as a mortgage advisor i can providing you you know you give me the necessary information i can typically tap into your mortgage account to right. see exactly what your outstanding balance is what the property value is and, and ultimately what your follow-on options are with yeah. that lender but if you want to do it yourself pick the phone up give them your mortgage account number and they'll yeah. go through it and, and tell you what your options are um so yeah it's good to know you've got those uh, another two options because I don't know if some, some of us might not feel very brave particularly if you know you are yeah. in a financial situation you're feeling really anxious genuinely really anxious about it to pick up that phone and speak to the mortgage company you might just I don't know just have a bit of a meltdown I know I probably would so actually knowing someone will do that for me I think that'll just be a weight off Absolutely. and you might pick up on something I'd not noticed as you've mentioned already yeah yeah and, and it's good to take advice really just you know your 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 situation might not be as bad as you think um, I think we always, I, I don't know about you, but I always bring my situation to be far worse than it actually probably is. I'm a bit of a, I just, I just get worried really quickly about that sort of thing. Yeah, so it's, it's natural. Good. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So it's Lucy Budgeting and Planning at Planning.co.uk and Donna, elevatefs.org.